Hello viewers, welcome to Programming Geek. I am here with a new tutorial that is how to load data from SQL Server database to Git BU using Android Studio Java step by step. This is the directory G Android tutorial folder here I will create Android application in this folder this folder name is load data SQL to grid view Android now this folder is empty now I start Android studio okay it's started now go to the file menu click on new click on new project yes now select empty activity and click on next name the application application name is load data from sql to grid view okay and select the directory what folder i just created load data sql to grid view android click on okay yes the directory is selected the directory is uh, now empty click on finish yes now see that the android application is created in the directory g android tutorial folder and load data as called well green view okay now the application is empty this is the default text hello world remove this text and design this uh, android page using button and grid view okay go to the code yes now change the android text size at android text size text size is 20 dp okay design yes you can see the text size is increased 20 dp 24 dp yes and text in the text text is load data concentrate in top bottom left and right okay now it's done click on legacy in the palette and uh, just add this grid view this is the grid view just position it yes consider it off bottom and right left okay it's done now this is my sql server start sql server management studio sql server management studio is starting yes this is the authentication and the database database name is my task DB and table table name is student info underscore tab. Let's check the records in the database table. Yes, you can see student ID name address age contact date of birth admission fee. And these are the records in the database table student ID name address. I will display the records student name address age contact in the grid view in android application from sql server database table okay so expand the resolution folder and expand the layout now i'm gonna create a new layout new layout okay layout name is grid view layout okay the grid view layout is created now i'm gonna create this layout so this is linear layout layout weight is ref content and layout height is also ref content and then android orientation orientation is vertical and padding android padding is 5 dp okay now text view text view wide rep content and height also rep content i'm just uh, adding some text view to display the field the student name address is okay text color i just select a text color and then text size text size is 20 sv okay this text view is ready now you should add android id the ID of this text view ID is this one for student name so ID is student name just copy this text view 
and uh, fist one more okay now let's check the record student name then address is address is contact okay so add one more text view yes second one for address third one for is and fourth one for contact okay the layout is ready now go to the main activity.java yes this is the button button id is uh, change the button id button id is button load okay now go to the main activity click on refactor yes we can load okay now this is the grid view add a column android grid view column number of column three it will display three columns in grid view okay now button declaring button button btn load equal to button and find view id r dot id dot button load this is my button id button load okay now declare grid view grid view list equal to grid view find view id r dot id dot uh, grid view id let's check the grid view id activity main dot xml okay this is the design for the grid view id id is grid view one okay go to the main activity r dot id dot grid view one okay it's done now btn load dot set on click listener first break new view dot on click listener yes now the click event is added now i'm gonna add suppress lint suppress lint uh, is the out of event suppress lint new fei suppress lint used to display the exception okay now public connection I'm gonna create a class con class to connect with the SQL server database table using connection string. So con class now string IP variable IP IP is SQL server IP. Fort is default fort is one four double three. If you change the SQL server fort, you should fort your SQL server fort. Okay. Now see that database name database name is my test db okay now for the database name my test db and username username is sa password is sql server login password okay <coughs> now stick mode dot third policy p equal to neo stick mode dot third policy dot builder dot farmit all dot build now stick mode dot set third policy third policy is p okay now connection connection con equal to default connection is null now i'm gonna declaring uh, connection url and a string variable con url equal to also null now adding try catch that's exception ex log dot e now string error message set error x dot exception x x dot get message okay now in the try adding a class dot for name for name is net dot george force put the syntax and character accurately net.sourceforce.jtds.jdbc.driver now con url con url is you can copy this connection url from the description box below con url is jdbc colon jtds colon sql server colon and double slash 
plus sign ip plus sign and then sim port and then database database name equal to database name is database name what i declared database name then user user equal to username username is sa un i declared uh, variable un for username and password pass okay double quotation semicolon okay now con equal to driver manager dot get connection con url okay it's done finally return the connection con return con okay now in this on click event just write list map string string this is array string data equal to new array list just copy map string string in this error list yes semicolon now try catch try copy the catch yes catch exception yes okay it's same declare connection connect and simple adapter i'll use simple adapter in the button click event to load data in grid view simple adapter adapter now try uh, in the try connect equal to con class what class i just created con class now if connect not equal to null i mean if the sql connection is okay then it will execute query so let's declare the query string query equal to select a star from my table name table name is student info underscore tab so uh, table name student info underscore tab okay I'll display all the result of a student info tab uh, in grid view. So statement as equal to connect dot create statement statement is created now result set result set equal to st dot execute query query my query is string query query can see query okay now adding while loop while result set dot next oh yes yes next now map string this is also array list string string table tab i just declared tab array new hash map yes now tab dot food student name student name is column name student name result set dot get string column level is student name this student name is database table column name and this one is layout grid view layout column name okay text view name this one for address this one for age and this one for contact sql server database table column name column level okay data dot add tab finally add a string array from and to from student name address is or oh, syntax error yes is contact so this is uh, from database table column name and two integer two equal to this is text view id r dot id dot student name this is text view id in the grid view layout see that the student name address is contact i have kept it similar to understand you perfectly and to avoid error okay r dot id dot address and is and contact okay it's done now adapter adapter this is simple adapter adapter what i declared simple adapter adapter equal to new simple adapter main activity dot this then data then r dot layout then layout i, I what layout i created grid view layout then from and to okay now 
list dot set adapter adapter okay it's done now go to the application this is the directory open the app folder open the library folder now this folder is empty you have to download this jar file to go to the uh, to download this jar file go to the link in the description box below just put this file jdds 1.3.1 jar file in the library folder and then go to the file menu project structure click on dependency and then click on f add a dependency click on plus sign to add a jar dependency here just for the directory where you for the jds 1.3.1 jar file just copy the directory with file name now copy the file name yes with extension dot jar extension and for the backslash and for the file name paste the file name yes libraries backslash jds yes the jar dependency is added now click on apply and then click on ok now go to the android manifest.xml in the manifest folder here you just add permission permission is user permission android name equal to android permission dot internet and then user permission dot android name equal to android permission dot network state access network state okay it's done now run this application tcp ip must be enabled in sql server you must check uh, tcp ip uh, it must be enabled in sql server load data oh the application is closed uh, load data from sql server view has stopped let's check the code and uh, check the connection string oh yes remove the space before database name username and password wrongly i put space that's why okay now run this application uh, apply change and rerun android is starting yes succeed in operation just click on load data yes yes you can see in there are three column in the grid view john usa 17 and the contact number name address is and contact number is displaying perfectly in the grid view go to the grid view layout and change the text size of address text size 20 to 25 sp uh, we run this application okay please wait yes now click on load data yes you can see the address is 25 sp address text size is uh, bigger than the other records okay now i'm gonna insert one more record john usa 58 okay click on load data yes the records also displaying johnny usa 58 and the contact Thanks for watching this tutorial.